Hey up everyone, Rich here at Only Vans. Uh, happy Bank Holiday weekend. Uh, on this week's video, we are gonna take you through the 10 uh, caravan essentials that you absolutely need to have and the ones that you should know that you need to have. I'm also gonna take you through some ones which a lot of people forget to have. And I'm gonna do every single one within 30 seconds. And then at the end, put me down in the comments what you scored out of 20. And just so you know, we got 20 out of 20. Just before we get started, for those of you that are watching that aren't subscribed, we would absolutely love it, love it, if you could hit that subscribe button. Um, put your comments down below. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Hope you enjoy the video. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, is I'm going to take you through the 10 accessories that if you're going to get a caravan or you have a caravan, that you absolutely should know that you should have. Now, the important thing about some of these things that are absolutely essential is that a lot of the time when you buy your first caravan, always make sure that the dealer is including as many of these as physically possible. So we, when, when we brought ours in January from Glossops, um, we got a starter pack that came with ours, which came with a load of these sorts of bits and pieces. So when you're buying your caravan, always make sure that you're getting as many of them included as possible. Let's have a look at the first 10 things which are absolutely essential that you need to have with a caravan. Number one on the list is aqua rolls. So um, I'll put a picture uh, on here of an aqua roll so you can see exactly what it is. So these are the round barrels that you will have seen which people use and they put the water in, they put them outside the caravans and that's how you get your fresh water from outside into your caravan. So I've got two of them partly because I'm a, well, I'm, a la well, I'm lazy um, and it's just easier to just go outside and just change one over, especially if it's late at night and things like that. So number one, aqua rolls. Number two on the list, what goes in must come out. So this is uh, what's called a waste master. So a waste master is dead, dead simple. It's very similar, but totally different in shape. But it's got wheels on the bottom again. So what happens is, is that water from your sink, from your shower, from your bathroom sink, all that runs out and goes into what's called your waste master. It's called grey water. And then once you've finished or once it's full, what you do is you go and empty your grey water into a, a water disposal unit on the campsite. This next one is for people that have been on campsites before and that have heard jargon like people talking about the blue and the pinks. So they are your chemicals. So they don't go in the same place. So the blue is what goes into your toilet cassette. So what that does, that breaks down any waste and breaks down any solids. So if people do jobbies in their toilets, and um, that's what helps to break it down so that it's easy to get it out the tube um, when it's time to empty it. The pink is what goes in the flushing system. So the best way to remember it is pink in the sink, blue in the stink. Have fun with this one. So the next thing is a gas bottle. Um, so notoriously difficult to get hold of at the moment. So when we first came here, we had a Keller gas bottle, but we've since moved on to flow gas. Um, we've got a six kilo that sits in the front and the gas is what powers your caravan if you're not always necessarily using electric and things like that. So, you know, your fridge can run off your gas, your oven, your hobs. Um, they, are, they are really important, absolutely essential in fact. There's no point in having caravans if you can't come away and have barbecues and eat on them. So another important thing that you're going to need is plates uh, and glasses and cups and things like that. So if you're going to be touring, then we'd recommend malamine plates, which is like a plastic material. It's easier for you to travel and it's not like not as heavy as glass and ceramics and stuff like that. So that's really important. The next is things like cutlery. So you're going to need to have knives, forks, big spoons, little spoons. Um, um, most important of all is making sure that you've got wine glasses, Prosecco glasses or pint glasses. They are the most important thing that we'll talk about on today's video. Next, we're going to talk about your electric hookup cable. So that's the cable which goes from the electric points on your campsite and goes into the side of your caravan. Um, I would always, always recommend that you make sure you're getting a 25 meter cable because on some pitches uh, you can be quite a way away and there's no point having a cable if it doesn't reach the uh, electric point. The next thing that you're going to need is a kettle. Now kettles are notoriously high wattage so what you do want to look out for is a kettle that has got a low wattage or if you don't want to do that you can do what me and Lisa did which was to get a hob kettle. 
only problem with that is it takes an absolute lifetime to heat up in the morning. If she doesn't have a brew straight away, she gets a bit, a bit grouchy. Next thing that you're going to need is a little bit like a kettle. But once again, this is going to be uh, something else that you're going to need to get in a low wattage. And that is a toaster. Uh, something which is really, really handy to use. Something which, if you're peckish in the morning or whatever, or if you like it with your breakfast, it's really, really, really useful to have. But once again, make sure you're getting a low wattage because some campsites don't have great electric. And the last thing you want to do is keep tripping electrics uh, over and over again. Last but not least for the things that you should definitely know that you will need when you get in a caravan. And this is aimed at the more senior people like myself. So at the age of 34 now, my knees aren't quite what they used to be, so absolutely make sure that you're getting a step. Um, so, you know, I'm getting more and more rotund with every passing minute, so, you know, I'm 17 stone now, so a plastic step should be fine, or a metal step, but, you know, it can be quite a step up to the caravan sometimes, so just make sure you've got that step there ready to go. So, here we go. So, we're now going to talk about 10 things which slip a lot of people's minds a lot of the time. So, these are the things which you might forget or something like that. So this is just to remind you. On we go. So earlier on I mentioned aqua rolls. So what you'll find is that when you're turning the tap on, sometimes if the water doesn't come out straight, the water might spray everywhere. So you get it all over your shoes, all over the floor. So what you will want to get is you'll want to get a hose pipe that connects to the tap, which goes into your aqua roll, which funnels the water straight into your aqua roll. Same again as before, um, once your water leaves the caravan, what you want to do is, is because there's normally two outlets, so you want to make sure that the water from those outlets goes into your waste master and not onto the floor around. So what you'll see now is a plastic um, outlet pipe, which just funnels the water from the outlets into the waste master. Next thing is your water pump to go from your aqua roll into your caravan. So this is one of those things that you would absolutely expect to be included when you purchase a caravan, but that's not always the case. I've got a mate who recently bought a caravan last weekend and they tried to make him buy a battery, tried to make him buy aqua rolls and all that sort of stuff. So always, always check with a dealer, but you know, something like that is absolutely essential. Another thing that you might need is a small collapsible watering can. So we use that for our flusher. So when we unlock it, there's a little hole, so we tip the pink in, and then it's just convenient then, because otherwise you've got to lift the aqua roll up. So it's just a small watering can, and we just tip that water straight into the flusher system. Uh, it saves a whole load of messing. I'm gonna let you into a little secret now. So when you go to caravan shops, you will see really expensive eco toilet paper. Don't bother, save your money. The best thing that you can do is you can go to a supermarket and buy really, really cheap toilet roll that's of a poor quality it's essentially the same thing but it's about a hundred percent cheaper than what it is if you buy the eco-friendly toilet roll for caravans all the little things that you might forget that you might need um it's dead dead simple it's something that slips people's minds all the time it's just as simple as a torch a good torch and make sure you've got plenty of batteries i think we've got about 400 packs of batteries in here um, I don't know what we're going to use them all for but you know the, the one time that you'll need a battery will be the one time that you can't find one so torches batteries dead dead important now we did a really successful video uh, on caravan storage hacks uh, a few weeks ago now this didn't appear on there because it slipped our mind but um, it's as simple as for the people that go touring you haven't got an air awning you don't want to put your awning up you're just going away for a quick night or a quick couple of nights it is a plastic box that you can get from anywhere, B&Q, the range or anything like that. And it's just somewhere to store your shoes so they aren't getting wet, they aren't sitting in your caravan. Um, all you do is when you take your shoes off at the door, shoes in the box, slide it under the caravan, just frees up a whole load of space. And the last thing which I am extremely biased about. Um, now this is my perfect draft beer keg. So that is exactly what it says on the tent. So it sits there on the TV or next to the TV. And when it's pint time, you just pull the handle down. You can get loads and loads and loads of different kegs. Unfortunately, mine's run out. I've got a couple of delivered to me now. Um, this one was a Stella one, for example. But 
if you get a chance and you're going away for a little bit of time, you absolutely have to get one of these. They are incredible. So there we go. 10 accessories that you should definitely know that you need. 10 accessories that you might not know that you need. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please tune in next week where we will be revealing the gender of the baby. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.